So we're clear for takeoff. That's what it says. Well, what a nightmare we have had. Goodness gracious me. Um, things certainly did not want to work at all. But hey, thank you very, very much for sticking with us and uh, absolute troopers that you are. And if somebody could put a message in the chat box to let us know that you are getting us a OK right now. Sound and vision before we actually start the show. So um, I haven't got a clue what on earth was going on, but um, let's have a look. So um, evening all. Yep. Wakey, wakey there. He is. So someone soon somebody says, hey, yeah, we're in business, Stu. We're working. So just let me know. Right. Yep. Sounding good. OK. I haven't got it. I do apologize. Nothing I could do. Technical issue. It's. Um, I've got a fantastic internet signal and I checked everything, but um, hey, hey ho, these things sometimes happen. Hey, it's live. That's what goes. So, right, what have we got coming up for you? Let's have a look. So, coming up tonight, uh, we we were supposed to be going live on uh, Facebook as well, but um, I chucked that one in the fire because um, the uh, technical issues, I thought, no, can't be bothered with that. So, anyway, what we've got coming up, we're going to take um, a trip with Jamesy, Jimbo Jamesy, right? He, last weekend, he was going around the Cotswolds in his uh, usual style. Hey, if you've ever seen James, what a character. Anyway, so we're going to start off with uh, Bryce Norton, then we're going to move over to Kemble, and uh, hey, and then um, some B-52s from uh, Fairford. So thank you for being with us. Thanks for being so patient. And uh, hey, I've been tearing even more hair out, which is not a good thing for me. So hey, without further ado, let's get this show on the road because we are really late. We're half an hour late, so we're going to start off. Let's go to Bryce Norton. So hey, if you've just joined us, wonder what the hell is going on basically what we do is um we just uh, do a bit of an edit from the um edit van and that's where we are right now so hey jamesy let's take it away let's start from the beginning start over so 
What was James up to last week? As I say, he was round the Cotswolds and uh, he um, yes went to. Uh, I'm doing it in slightly in reverse order, really, because uh, I want to bring you the B52s a little bit later on. But um, just to give you an idea, I mean, I've not been to Bryce Norton yet, but um, hey, it looks like you can certainly get some pretty decent shots from down there. So um, we will certainly be um, checking this out. Oh, how is Fred the Ted? Don't mention Fred the Ted. He's still over at uh, Mildenhall won't come back which is not a bad thing i said hey you can stay there man <laughs> you believe it you believe anything i tell you um i'll give you some news about fred the ted later okay so keep the messages coming in and um i'm not sure if our jimbo james is it actually in the uh, chat room if you are james it'd be great to see you so uh daryl barber good to meet you the other day there um, daryl uh which was pretty good barry west well done Stu. i tell you my man it was nightmare sorting this out for you been working all day on this well actually as julie will confirm um i was stuck in a um, terrible traffic jam for over two hours uh, we just weren't moving at all but uh, at least i was at the front of the queue a horrendous accident by the looks of it and um i haven't heard what the outcome was but i don't think it would have been very good but, uh, that was on the m1 just made a lot of this around about uh, 10 o'clock this morning Okay, hey listen, I'll uh, me mention uh, more people as the um, interview goes on. It's, um, it's a one hour show, but um, hey, we're start, supposed to start at 25 past 7. Uh, well, 7.30 I suppose, but uh, uh, make it 5 minutes early, so I can sort out any technical issues. <laughs> I didn't expect a nightmare. Anyway, beautiful shot, James, this is superb. So this is down at Campbell from uh, last Saturday. So we'll uh, go through this and then after that we'll um, move on. Um, this is Rise North, should I say. Then we'll move on to Campbell. You'll have to excuse me this evening if I get a few things totally muddled up and when I do. Um, it's uh, one of those things, when things don't go right, you just totally lose your thread. Fred. <laughs> <laughs> We've lost Fred, I told you. Oh, so what are we doing in the chat box? James Fennelly, hey, the man himself. So, hey, James, put some info about these um, aeroplanes. So, that particular one, James, that we're viewing at the moment, right, I, I'd call it um, the, um, the Voyager, um, but um, is that the transport version? I could see all... Uh, it, does that, it doesn't look like that one does refuelling, so let us know about that, James. So put it in the chat box. Tell us all about that. Yep, I am back home, down at East Midlands Airport. So, uh, uh, no doubt we should be doing some videoing around there very soon. Hey, I know what this little beauty is. The um, A400M. Wow, you certainly know when that's flying down the Litchfield Corridor over the top of me. What a noise it makes. Ashes to ashes. Duh. Yep, good record, mate. Elvis, hey, good evening to you. Elvis, good to have you in the chat room. Hope Trace is okay as well, mate. Hope you're keeping all right. Hey, we're okay. We're just having a few technical issues earlier. Okay, so brilliant stuff, Jamesy. I really enjoyed that and hope everybody else did. So um, I was Jamesy last week down at Bryce Norton. And um, James, quick question for you. When you filmed that, did can you view over the fence or do you have to do your usual um, 12 foot in the air jobby? let us know okay meanwhile let's um move straight on because um, we've a lot to get through so hey this is the site from down there in um kemble kemble air everywhere used to have fantastic air shows what a sad sight this is look at this all these jumbo jets all lined up looks like it's got a few bits missing the engines are gone I don't think that'll be flying. And that. Hey, who stole my engines? What a sad sight to see. It really is. Good evening. Hey, that's Dutch Flight. And um, what else? Um, refueling, says Matt. Oh, right, hey, 
Better the late than, ne than never. Well, I keep trying, mate. I keep trying and trying until we get it sorted. And I was determined uh, to get this uh, up and running for you tonight. Um, haven't got a clue what the problem was. But, uh, hey, it sometimes happens. But, um, luckily, I've got a spare. So, uh, I went to the spare box. But it just needed reconfiguring by um, taking the settings off the of Facebook. <laughs> That's the thing, the Facebook one worked perfect, but uh, I give YouTube the 100% attention. Steve C, yeah, so um, a lot of people tonight, and God, it's so much appreciated. So thank you very, very much for um, sticking with us, because what a problem it's been tonight to get this sorted for you. So, um, hey, there's... I just can't believe how many Jumbo Jets there is there. So this is Kemble. It's certainly worth um, just to drive past, just to see. <laughs> I just don't know what to say. P1 says, a load of also comes great week. It's been, <laughs> it's been fantastic. Boy, oh boy. And I hope we can bring a bit of that um, to you uh, this very evening. It's definitely Fred the Ted. What's Fred the Ted? You see, I see some of these messages coming in and sometimes I miss them. Thumbs up all for Stu and Cher. Thank you very... Oh, hey, by the way, don't forget, anybody new, do these old subscribe bits. Um, I, do you remember the challenge? I said on Monday we were 500 away from hitting the 50,000 mark. Well, when I looked this afternoon... Um, hey, probably one of you guys can check for us now. But when I looked this afternoon, I think we were about 120 subscribers off the 50,000 so what a fantastic week so thank you to everybody that has been um, subscribing so if you haven't subscribed already please do because we do lots of um, obviously live from the airfield which is what we've been doing all this week I've been at um, Lake Nice and Mildenhall but mainly Mildenhall and you'll see some of that just a little bit later 49.8 we're so close to it that's uh, Marcus thank you very much yeah, working again. Thank you, Daryl. Yeah, the gremlins got to us. Yes. Get out of here, gremlin. I blame Fred the Ted for leaving him back at Mildenhall. Hi, how are you? That is Stuart Bridges asking the question. Yeah, we're back. Yep, to that, we're back. So, sorry that it's a countdown thing and all the rest of it. God, what a We do these special things. But, uh, I'll be checking out what happened to the box. It's certainly an aircraft graveyard. You can't believe it, it's Kemble down there in uh, Gloucestershire. And uh, what on earth, eh? Who remembers the fantastic airships we used to have down there? They were fantastic. So James wants to know how many uh, jumbos are there at um, St. Arthur? Um, British Airways. <laughs> Richard says, I delivered to a... Uh, oh, hang on, just a minute. Ooh, I've got 70 subscri subscribers now. Hey, well done, Phoebe. That's brilliant. Rich, back to Richard. I uh, said, I delivered to a company at Campbell Airport on a regular basis. I've watched the number of aircraft being scrapped. They increased... Oh, it's such a shame, isn't it, eh? It really is. So, hey, come on, before the end of the show, let's see if we can uh, make that magical um, 50,000. So, if you're watching this for the first time, give it, give, it, give it that big thumbs up and do the subscribe. And, of course, the important bit, hit that button that says get the notifications. By the way, you're going to love what's coming up next. Oh, yes. What have we got coming up for you? Let's have a look, see where we are with this. Very mindful on the time, so I'll just skip through a few. There we go, that's uh, all lined up. Sad side, Jamesy. Sad side. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to uh, quickly move along. We're going to um, go to where Jamesy set up very, very early in the morning um, last Saturday. Uh, 
around about four o'clock, I think, in the morning. Cause it's a long drive for my man there. And uh, he went down to this uh, little airfield, not too far from uh, Kemble, in between Kemble and Bryce Norton. Little place. They used to have an air show there. Fairford. Let's go there right now. Now, while James was filming these in uh, beautiful sunshine, a little bit of uh, breeze, you might hear a bit of uh, wind roar occasionally, but um, Jamesy put in the... Um, ch oh, thank you very much, Barry West. What a man! Um, made a donation of $15. So thank you very much. You are an absolute top man. So, yes, while um, Jamesy was baking in beautiful sunshine, clear blue skies, uh, I was at Milden Hall, and uh, what awful conditions we had all weekend long, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It was dreadful. High winds, rain. <laughs> James, he kept saying, hey, it's great here. Look at this. Back of that aircraft. How many? How old is that? What, 50, uh, 70? What, 70 years old? Goodness gracious, just look at it. And it clears its own trail. Amazing, absolutely incredible, Jamesy. Yep, cough, cough, smoke it. Dear Lord above. Hey, Barry West, you're an absolute diamond. Thank you very much. What a supporter of Airshow World, he really is. on the chat box right now. Certainly is Darrell. Said it's nice to see Buffs back at Fairfield. That squeaking noise, um, uh, Jamesy. Was that either wheels or was it a bird just near you? Whatever it is, it sounds good. So, thank you, Jamesy. Um, so, James Sayers, the B-52s are from Minor Air Force Base in America. There were uh, six B-52s at Fairfield. James. 
don't forget, Ben and everybody else, if you're just joining us, what it is tonight, yeah, it's live from the edit room. What we do, we do a replay of the last seven days of what Airshow World and Jane Z and myself have been um, up to. So that's what Friday nights is all about. Regular spots, 7.30, join us every Friday night. Or in this case, 8 o'clock, the and the gremlins that hit us. Get out of here, gremlin. So that's what it's all about. That's why it's light, you see. This was last Saturday. So that's what it's all about. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. So let's move it along a little bit because we want to see three of these um, little beauties actually um, taxing out Man, together. Now, James had kept um, going in between two places, I believe. Let's go back a little bit more. I would show you all about um, how to do the editing, but hey, we'll just uh, leave that for another time because time is really short. Right. Here we go. Look at that sunshine and blue skies as well. Oh, Lord above. I tell you, it was dreadful. <laughs> we were, I was at Milden Hall waiting for the weather to change. Anyway, I'll be quiet, look at the messages, and let the sight and sounds. Yes, Joel. Uh, so, this was last Saturday when they were um, departing back to the United uh, States, back to their own base. And if you have a look, you can check out um, our very own James E, who uh, filmed this um, for us. Kind of let us know where about, aircraft, um, they were heading back. Uh, so, thank you, James. Going back to Minot Air Force Base in uh, America. Lots, lots of messages coming in in the chat box. It's really appreciated. But I can't thank you enough, everybody, for um, being patient, sticking with us, because um, technical issues. Yeah, six three read back correct. All aircraft are to contact uh, Rise Norton on departure. Frequency one on departure. Fly the Maxim one Bravo departure. Maintain flight level six zero. Squawk six four zero four. So it clearly says I was at uh, Fairford 60 years ago. So let's just move it along a little bit to the actual uh, takeoffs because uh, oh, let's go back a tiny little bit. Here we go. I think they're just powering up now. Here we go.
Bottom, line up and wait. Bottom, wait, 27, 10, 6, 4. Wind, 3, 3, 0, 1, 4, an amazing sight there, uh, Jimbo off. James. Hey. Absolutely. And yet another one taken off. So I think, um, what was it? Five actually took off on Saturday. And then the other one, I think they kind of tech, tech issues. <laughs> we all get them. Fantastic spot, James. Retired Air Force Master Sergeant, 26 years, great videos, love especially the F-15s. Well, we've got a um, little bit of F-15 action coming up for you pretty soon, so stay with us there, Butch, and uh, great to have you on. Hey, Paul Freeman, well, sorry, we're a bit late starting, but um, very naughty it was. Here we go, last one. And then we shall move along to our next item that we've got coming up for you. James goes, he will take his camera, I'm absolutely sure, and I'm sure we'll be uh, bringing some of his, more of his absolutely fantastic videos uh, with us next Friday night. So Jamesy, top man, thumbs up, you came up trumps, thank you very, very much for those brilliant videos, much appreciated. Okay, we're going to move straight on to the next item, so um, with a bit of luck, we should be... Um, Fast forwarding, missing out Sunday and moving to uh, Monday. Hey, where did we go Monday? Monday, we were at um, Lake and Heath. Very early start in the morning. Uh, only just got there in the nick of time to go live for you guys uh, at 7.30 in the morning for the um, departure of these um, F-16s going back to Aviano in uh, Italy. They'd been on deployment for uh, around about a month over at RAF Lake and Heath. Take care, Paul. We'll catch you on the next one, mate. And thank you for joining us. Sorry we were late.
And as you see, this was Monday, but um, the weather decided to um, play ball. So um, the weather was absolutely fantastic on uh, Monday. The sun even came out. And um, my very good friend, uh, Daryl, it was quite funny. I was filming and uh, he was sending me messages. I was asking how the weather was back in at East Mids Airport. <laughs> he said, I don't know. Look to your left. And he was right next to me. Couldn't believe it. What a guy. Great to see you, Daryl. out for you for next week. Hey Phoebe, don't you dare go to bed. The bear has been up since half four today and still going strong. got to have a couple of um, F-15 Eagles. Now if you want to see the full versions of these, right, um, but by all means just go to um, Asia World and uh, you're, you'll find the full version. This is just a quick cut down, okay? So um, if you want to see more, Asia World is your place. So we're going to move on because time is really tight this evening and I really want to keep the show down to uh, one hour. So, hey, we don't want to go um, too late. So we're going to move straight on to the um, next item for you, OK? Now, that was uh, Monday. So what did we do on Tuesday? Well, of course, what happened Tuesday? The rain decided to come down again and um, it was a misty, murky, horrible day. You just thought, nothing's going to fly today. It's just not worth it. So I spent most of the day sorting sound um, problems out and a few other technical things. But all of a sudden we had this and um, we uh, just couldn't, I just couldn't believe what was going on. <laughs> Dash down to get this, um, what they call the elephant walk on a really drab, manky, horrible day. <laughs> Amazing sight. So this was Tuesday at um, um, RF Mildenhall. And all of a sudden, the awful weather we just forgot about and went, what on earth is going on? And uh, I didn't know it was going to happen. Um, hey, people in the know didn't even know about it. It was a real secret that was... <laughs> Somebody knew, but uh, hey. So if you're just joining us, hey, don't get confused. What time is it? It's um, around, it must be around about quarter past. Um, it's 8.30. Okay, so we've got around about 20 minutes left of the show tonight. 8.30 on a um, Friday evening, British summertime over here in the uh, UK. So, hey, why is it light? Don't forget, this was last Tuesday. And if you've just joined us from wherever you are, and um, hey, please do the old subscribe, hit the button that says get the notifications because um, you'll know when we are live. The only thing that's live at the moment is uh, me, but I'm getting a bit tired as well. Yes. So keep the messages, please, coming in the uh, chat box. Always uh, keep the uh, chat box uh, respectful to all people at all times, and um, we will certainly do our best to give you a, a mention. But there's so many messages coming in this evening, and it's uh, can't thank you enough. It's so much appreciated. And... At 
on the elephant walk there was 12 KC-135s, as you've seen, quid. I think, I'm, I may be wrong, I think the call sign was quid 69, but I'm, I may be wrong. I didn't make a note of it. It was quid anyway. But, out of the 12, 8 took off, just one after, after the other. But, the conditions were so bad. The rain was coming down, um, you couldn't see them anyway. So it was just absolutely pointless um, f filming them taking off. So that's why we didn't... I mean, mass launch, well, it wasn't literally one after another. There was you know, a few minutes in between each one. But uh, it looked pretty good on these radar uh, things, the virtual radar servers, seeing eight all in a row, which was, yeah, it was good. I think uh, one of the guys that sent me a screenshot saying, hey, did you get the mass takeoff? Well, no, <laughs> it was. You wouldn't have seen anything anyway. Quid two nine flight. Thank you very much, there, John Robinson. That was their call sign for that day. Absolutely brilliant. It was something that was so special to be there to witness it and the fact that i very nearly missed it because i was uh, busy working on air show world uh, stuff in over in the van but uh, hey <laughs> i was <laughs> right next to the runway so what i've got to go and have a bit of that um so that was tuesday and then along came wednesday now i thought please let the weather improve and um so, Wednesday. What happened Wednesday? Went across, filmed the first aircraft around about um, 7 o'clock in the morning. And I thought, well, when shall I go live? Maybe 10 o'clock? We went live at um, 8.30. And we were streaming all day until 3 o'clock. It was the, probably the longest stream I've ever done. And the action, it was pretty much non-stop um, all day. Obviously, gaps every now and again. But it was probably one of the busiest days I've ever known at Mildenhall. So, I think think we may have a quick recap coming up for you so this was pretty um, uh, we had this coming in at seven o'clock seven thirty in the morning this came in uh, C-17 so let me double check yes the US Air Force C-17 now that came in at, uh, 7 7.30 and it parted at 9.30 And then, on Tuesday um, evening, which we thought, hey, what's going on? Why have we got all these F-15s coming in? And we'll tell you about that in just a minute. But uh, also popping in was the uh, new um, Pegasus, the um, C um, KC-46. So this was Wednesday. On Thursday, did some very nice um, circuits, flybys, what have you. It was, um, yes, well worth being there. And as you can see, the weather was not bad at all. Now at the time, Phoebe and Julie, uh, our regulars um, on Airshow World, they, uh, decided they went to Manchester and got absolutely soaked together with Airliners Live and uh, as you see, it wasn't a bad day at all. Phoebe wants to know, when am I live streaming again? Um, maybe over the weekend? I'll just see how uh, things all plan out, but definitely um, sometime in the week. So make sure, everybody, to do the subscribe to Airshow World and hit the bell icon to get the notification because I could be going live at literally any time. Cheers Barry, you're a top man, such a great supporter, thank you very much. So there it, there it is, the brand new KC-46. Pegasus. 
So guys, all these shots were taken through the fence, so um, just proving it can be done. You, you may see the little crisscross every now and again, and um, that's one of the uh, restrictions um, I actually have. But um, hey, the old, the old idea last week was just to bring you the atmosphere of um, Mildenhall. And I absolutely I loved every minute of it. Jamesy, where, where are you going tomorrow? That's what we want to know. Either that or send me a message. Aircraft, even though it wakes me up uh, in the middle of the night, around about one o'clock, buzzing around. In fact, it was uh, buzzing over my daughter's house on um, last, last night. Over there in North Yorkshire at about, uh, about 300 feet. <laughs> Disturbing all the horses. That's all right, plane crazy. Don't forget, yeah, hit the like, thumbs up, and all that. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. So yes, F-15s. What was it all about? And um, now I'm trying to think. I think it was called. Let me get it. Um, I think it was called Phoenix. The. Um, An exercise, uh, what it was with the Lake Lake and Heath F-15s with um, Mildenhall, and they went to Coningsby as well. And I'm pretty sure it was called uh, Phoenix. Man who would know, and that's our John Robinson. So he'll 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 correct me if I'm wrong. They, uh, most days they took off around about 11 o'clock and they did another take off around about um, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So it was a combined effort uh, from Lake Heath, Mildenhall and uh, Coningsby. I think Coningsby had about had four there. We had uh, 12 at Mildenhall. We were sort of, on Tuesday night, when these F-15s kept landing, we were scratching our heads going, uh, what, what's happening? Why have we, is there a problem at uh, Lake and Heath? And then we found out about this exercise. Or was it, was it Wolf? Was it called a Wolf? Come on, John, you should know. Oh, yes. I told you we had some F-15s, Butch, so um, there we go. Thank you, Julie, Julie. Great talking to you early today, Julie. Um, wow, T two hours stationary, but at least I was at the uh, fairly near the front of the queue. And it wasn't a very um, wolf. Thank you. It was called wolf. The exercise. It wasn't <laughs> yeah. That's the accident that um, we had on the M1 today. Not me personally. But we stuck for two hours. Okay, Phoebe, I will try to make it uh, one of these Wednesdays. I might even make it this coming Wednesday if the weather behaves itself. But you might not find me. I'll be somewhere hiding in the bushes. So make sure you smile. Bailey Nuts, hey, how are you doing? Says, hey, it's show. If you're new, don't forget, do the subscribe and hit the um, bell icon you'll know the moment we go live okay or at least that's the theory it doesn't always work but most of the time i believe it does must it because you got the message that um hey because technical issues um the bear had to um set up a new live stream but it worked omg oh my god Ah, uh, you'll never, you'll never find me, Phoebe. I'll be down there with all the little creatures all worried about. <laughs> oh, 
Elvis, my man, says, love watching your channel, Stu. It cheered me up Wednesday after my little heart scare. Again, always makes me smile when you give me a shout out. Makes me a smile every time I see you in the chat box, my boy. I tell you, it's fantastic to see you and everybody else. So, um, hey, keep the messages coming. It's much appreciated and keep supporting Airshow World. And um, just gutted that um, we um, had that technical issue earlier on because the amount of people that are in the chat room at that particular time, oh, it was huge. And, uh, hey, we've probably lost some of those, which, um, hey, oh, hum. You know, um, hitting the f uh, fan and things like that. <laughs> it happens. Yeah, well, um, Phoebe, I sh if I go, I'll, I will probably be over the south side um, for most of the day, but I'll probably at some point go to the cafe as well. But it all totally depends how busy. <laughs> Remember, these were all taken through the fence, a wire fence that's all crisscrossed. So when you zoom out a little bit, you can just see those. But um, it's still, it's still usable. It's the best we can do. But uh, I'm looking at it. I think, hey, yeah, that's 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 okay. It's okay. It works all right. <laughs> You've got it. Look for the push bike, and you'll you'll find me. The bear can get to places that other streamers can't reach. Eh, on that, yeah. Is there any way to get about? Yeah, I, I looked at this early, James. You're abs absolutely right. This was really early in the morning. I didn't quite have to focus 100% um, on it. It comes into focus, I think, now. But uh, that was really early. Hey, my eyes weren't even working at that time, so I wouldn't have even known. I just pointed the camera and went, OK. Vroom. And then I think I went back to bed because it was horrible weather. OK, I think that was um, early morning on Thursday. So let me just check, see where we're actually up to um, because... We've got something a little bit special. It's a small, yes, it's coming up right now. Something a little bit special. Now, it did two fly pasts yesterday. yesterday. This absolutely fantastic, a AWACS. If I say AWACS, yeah, airborne warning and control system. Yeah, you, you know what I'm talking about. That's converting Boeing 707 with a great big ray dome on the back, yeah. There's um, a NATO one. It's got the older engines and also uh, it's painted up. It did two fly pasts. Both of them, the first one was too far over. The second one was straight down the runway, but it was a little bit high. But anyway, we got a shot of it. So bring it on right now. It's only a small video. Tell you what, I'm going to start that again so we can get it full. So that was um, yesterday afternoon. We were filming in the morning and early afternoon, but then the rain came down around right about um, 3 o'clock. But in between the showers, um, this little beauty came through. And I thought, right, I've got to have a bit of that. So, of course, we uh, filmed that for you. So, we're getting towards um, the end of the show. So, very quickly, what we're going to do, we'll um, carry moving on. Uh, as you know, round right about this time, um, what we do at the end of the show, we do a... Um, it's like a classic air show bit, if you like. So, wh what we're going to do, we're going to feature... Uh, it's not exactly an air show, but it's a classic um, aircraft, okay? And uh, a much loved and a much missed uh, aeroplane. It's um, Tornado. We had a request to do some Tornado, so that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to start off with the Mac Loop, and then we're going to do farewell to the Tornadoes that was at Marvham. So, without further ado, with a bit of luck, we should have it coming up in a second. So this is the mountains, 
Snowdon, but it's uh, this, it is the Snowdonia National Park. But I always say flying in the mountains of Wales. Not quite a mountain, but. Sadly, it's like we're not going to see the game, because uh, unfortunately, certainly not with the RAF anyway, they've all been retired. Okay, so, and then there's a few hawks and what, what have you, um, but what we're going to do, we're going to move something that was really special, and what it is, it was the... Um, if you want to see more of this video, yeah, just go to Airshow World and look for the low fly section. Okay, and you'll see loads of videos from the uh, Mac Loop. We're going to move along because uh, time is really running out. So um, this will be the last uh, video for tonight coming up next. And um, what it was, um, it was Marum. Uh, the, I think it was February the 27th, something like that. Um, 2019 I believe and uh, both myself and James were there we had two cameras James was on one part of the airfield I was down at another and we put the two videos together and uh, we came up with this little beauty so take it away Sean, Sean Bintley says, can I say uh, this time, there we go, explain more about where we're parked in a minute, um, says, can we just say this type of highlight show is great, I missed most of your broadcast this week because of work, so thanks again Stu, that's alright, it's an absolute pleasure, and um, it's what we're going to try to do every Friday night, um, Gremlins uh, permitting, is to do this uh, live from the edit room, so we can just do a repo of what we've done in the last week, but at the end of the show, what, excuse me. And at the end of the show, what we're going to do is uh, just do a feature of the classic uh, air shows and what have you, classic aircraft. And uh, I think this is well to do it. Okay, fair enough. Don't forget, do the subscribe, thumbs up, and all that, and the bell. Okay, thank you for joining us tonight. There we go, this happened on my birthday, says so Lionel, on the 28th of uh, February 2019. There we go. Backtrack, uh, 9495, and 9359, isn't it? Oh, Roger, enter one one Roger, enter Yep, I think we're all pretty much done. Thank you very much for the nice work. I appreciate it. Don't give the message. Make sure I don't miss anybody. And the Austin says, even everyone on this um, wet and windy day. First, so pretty lovely. Thank you very much for that. Thank you. Thank you. Information code Lima, runway 19, right hand, colour white, QFE 1009, IFR Lake and Heathcare, feel free to go. Hey, Camp 3, great to have you in the room tonight. DJ Wolf, how are you? Hello, Stuart says. Thank you very much. Um, February, no, February 28th. 
rather than that period of time. So, it was incredible. It was, uh, especially the, the uh, week leading up to this, uh, unprecedented. It was like um, 20, 20 degrees, not this particular day, it wasn't. probably noticed um, from the, uh, the first part of uh, shot that uh, we had just a moment ago that uh, is literally compacted in the mud. Yeah, and um, normally you wouldn't be able to do that in February. Uh, a week or later, the rain came down and uh, you went to see the um, the, the farmer very kindly, um, one of the guys, um, I think it's part of the Marvin Aviation Society or whatever it is. Liaised with the farmer and they kindly open that so what you can see But it's so dry it's crazy. But you saw that car car shot. Because the other guys will be using it to busy warming up. And there's all sorts of things like motorhomes, cars and um, everybody get on and off with that. So I will just do a quick recap of the uh, chat box and um, say hi and then bye to everybody because we'll be leaving you around about uh, five minutes. Thanks. Really appreciate you joining us tonight. Thank you for being patient, everybody. Enjoy one nine back to the three nine six five. Nine six five. This walk to as previously briefed before you walked. Six nine six five. Here we go. Right, thank you very much for that info. So if you want to see uh, more videos similar to this and what have you, um, hey, they can all be found on um, Airshow World. So uh, certainly um, browse through, check all the videos out. Um, we've got... Um, now, have a look. It's <laughs> what a... Oh, rammed in. Here we go. None of us were directly looking down the runway. Because, uh, after this, they did the elephant. Very, very special that was. Wonderful, wonderful day.
great weather for the time of year. Brilliant. And good company as well, young JT. Yep, we're just about to wrap up, so uh, thank you Elvis, thank you for joining us, and say hi to Tracy for us, and uh, I hope you keep, uh, keep on the network channel, for the time. don't get too excited, okay? Julie, um, did you get that uh, picture? Uh, my intentions are, we're going to uh, give ourselves a little Chris. bit more of a line-up for a way to a one. Uh, it's possible that you could uh, take us to the Why don't we? Yeah, this is fair for that chip. Okay, what's what we can do for it? <laughs> okay, Bailey Knox, thank you very much. Thank you for joining us tonight. Good day. Now you may notice that the um, this, uh, picture, what it is, the uh, weather started to close in. So these tornadoes, they all took off, yeah, they went in, uh, did some flybys, I think they did them in a couple of places. But when they were heading back to do their ship here, well, guess what happened? Weather decided to close in, and uh, it was getting very touch and go as to whether they were going to be able to do their and joking. We've been waiting for this all day, but thankfully they just managed to do it. That's why you see some of the shot a little bit hazy now compared to when they first took off. As the weather started to close in. that time of year but we were lucky anyway <laughs> yeah the Germans fly them and uh, the Italians as well don't they? Um, the Italians still have um, tornadoes I'm pretty sure about that So Julie, yeah, you managed to get the tornado um, and yeah, the picture. Guys, but that looks yeah. freaking awesome over there. I cut the runway. That was really good. <laughs> Friends of Tech says I'll be with us uh, next week. Just kept it off. He's got his airport. Yeah. What we do? It's just coming up to uh, 9 o'clock. I think we are almost out of time. We've got about two minutes left. So, if uh, you want to get a message in the chat, we'll uh, keep it right now. And um, say hi, hello, wherever you are in the world. It's great. Uh, have your company. Sorry about the grammar earlier. But from myself, be there. And of course, a brilliant game. Big game. Can't thank you enough for um, those of you that made videos on the channel. Saturday, wherever you are this um, weekend, James, um, certainly keep that camera with you and we look forward to seeing some of your videos and uh, you go. 915 Martini, copy, taxi back as briefed with Tornado 91 going back to Haz 45, everyone following sequentially, there is no requirement for anyone to use Haz 44.
That's all copy, thank you. Uh, you need to call you with our house numbers or just work it out later. If I'm happy, we'll work it out later. Thanks, we're done. Thank you. So yes, that was it was supposed to be the first ten minutes going out on Facebook, but um, I haven't got a clue what happened. Something upset the system. So Chris says, thanks to great show again, loved it. Here we go, see all that compacted mud. You imagine if the rain had uh, <laughs> it wouldn't have taken place. But we were very very lucky. The weeks leading up to this were just incredible weather for the time of year. Well, that just about wraps tonight's show up. So um, live from the edit van, that's exactly where I am right now. I didn't put the heating on because um, the uh, you'd hear the noise in the background. So um, I hope um, it wasn't too, um, too noisy or whatever with the... Um, uh, power supply and um, that i'm having to run but anyway thank you very very much for joining us and um, we will see you next friday night for the uh, live from the uh, edit room show and i'm just checking to see if there's anything else no that's just about it julie says thanks to phoebe um Stu is fred the ted being naughty so he's still in mildenhall um he says he'll be back next week early maybe even sunday to uh, bug me if i'm filming on sunday great show Stu. stay dry this weekend mate yeah certainly won't be filming tomorrow by the look of the weather uh barry west enjoyed it Stu. thank you barry what a supporter and thank you for the kind donations what an amazing guy you are thank you very much and everybody else right around the world wherever you are dawn healy get more people on the stream yes i think we would have had a lot more if we'd have started on time and got the proper stream actually running we had to go to a secondary um setup so that caused the problem tonight so i'm really really ah <laughs> cheesed off but I won't show it. A bit like Lewis Hamilton last week. Um, I thought he was um, quite composed, even though you could tell he was absolutely burning inside. So, um, yeah. So, everybody saying night-night, nighty-night, and uh, have yourself a fantastic weekend. Keep dry, okay? Keep safe, and keep um, passing the word around. Airshow World, it wouldn't be anything without you fantastic people in the chat room and... Um, keep sharing the videos you're the ones who make it real okay so daryl i'll catch you soon as well mate and uh <laughs> it's so funny last monday it was great to see you my boy okay limey night okay to everybody i'm gonna pull the plug so you can keep talking in the chat room i think up to about 10 minutes or whatever so thank you i appreciate it so much okay we'll see you live on the next show every friday it's at 7.30, British summer time, okay? And don't forget, we could go live at any time. That's why it's important. Subscribe, hit the bell. You'll know the moment we go live. Have yourself a great weekend. From the bear, Stu Bear. Take care. Bye for now. Thank you. Good night.